greet you all in a name that is above every name, the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I want to share with you God's word. And our word this morning is coming from the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verses 5 and 6. I want us to really enjoy the word of God, because man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. So what does the word of God say? The word of God says, Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood, and has made us to be kingdom and priest to serve his God and Father. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. I want to share briefly from this word uh, instructions, threefold instructions that comes from this word. And they come powerfully and they are very timely in our lives and at a time like this when we have many, many challenges, when people are wondering what they are supposed to do at such an hour, we need to hear from the word of God. Most so the book of Revelation, a book which reveals to us some of the things that are going to come as we are coming towards the end of the age. And here is a word of encouragement that came from the word of God. It is important to note how a person introduces himself because here we find a threefold introduction. When people introduce themselves, they bring out things that matter. Or when somebody introduces somebody, they normally bring out things about that somebody which matter. And here where we are reading, we have Jesus Christ introducing himself. And how did he introduce himself? He introduced himself, number one, as the faithful witness. Jesus Christ is a faithful witness. When we talk about a faithful witness, I want you to realize there has to be unfaithful witnesses. Unfaithful witnesses tell lies. Faithful witnesses tell the truth. I have good news for you. Jesus Christ he is a faithful witness. He came to speak about the truth and he tells the truth and only the truth. So what kind of truth do we hear Jesus Christ say? And from this very text, the Bible says, He loves us. He has freed us from our sins. He has made us a kingdom of priests. A kingdom and priests. This is great. This is the truth. I want to encourage you that God loves you. And I want to encourage you that he has made you something. You are nobody. You are not that somebody. You are not a nobody. You are somebody. You are somebody. Why? Because the faithful witness has said it. It is not a pastor who has said it. It is not a prophet who has said it. It is Jesus, the faithful witness, who is saying, I love you. I have made you a kingdom. I have made you a priest. So rejoice. Rejoice because Jesus has made you something. Number two, the Bible says, is the firstborn from the dead. It is important to understand the phrase firstborn. Firstborn from the dead does not mean death has given birth to somebody. Death does not give birth to anybody. But the phrase firstborn means he is the first among many. Many people died. Men have died over the ages. But none has come up out of death and has lived forever. It is only Jesus who is the firstborn from the dead. He has come out, which means Jesus has power over death. He came out. And when he came out, 
he has never been held again by death. I want to encourage you. Jesus Christ is the powerful one. He has power. He has power over death. You see, people of the world sometimes look like as if they are powerful. And they want to pose as powerful people. But they don't know there is something called death which comes. And when it comes for you, you have no power over it. You cannot overcome it. It takes you. And the good news is this. Jesus Christ overcame death. And I want to encourage you when death comes for you, hold on to Jesus. Because he overcame death. And he, he can go with you through death and it brings you to glory. You see, it's not good to pretend. People today have no hidden power probably over corona virus. But Jesus has power over death. Whatever befalls you, Jesus can, can take you through in Jesus' name. Then lastly, the Bible says, is the ruler of the kings of the earth. This one has to be known and is general knowledge that kings in their kingdoms they have the supreme authority all the laws emanate or come from kings what they say is final and when jesus christ says he's the king of kings what does he mean he means he has authority over people who have authority and this one comes as a strong warning to the kings of the earth the presidents of the nations you must heed to Jesus because he has power over you and because he has power over you you must seek him first let's seek Jesus first let's have our our conscience our conscience our thinking our our understanding giving priority to Jesus because he is the supreme power and with those words ladies and gentlemen when you realize that he is the faithful witness, believe him. When you realize that he is the first from, from the first born from the dead, hold on him. If you realize that he is the ruler of the kings of the earth, obey him. I have good news. Obey Jesus, believe him, and hold on him until he gets you through. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.